Alright, good morning. <clears throat> um, well, I was, uh, browsing the Path of Exile forums, and a, a big uproar occurred over uh, some company called Tencent has a buying out grinding gear games or something like that. Uh, look pretty interesting, and since uh, these kind of videos was something that I haven't done in a very long time, I thought I'd go ahead and do another one. Figured I'm long overdue. But, uh, you, typically what I do on these is I'll, I just read through everything and then I'll comment on it. And usually I'll try to highlight what I'm talking about. So, so I, I just found the subject here kind of interesting. So I've, I kind of have, I kind of have experience, um, in, uh, Diablo 3, I think, um, I want to say Diablo 2 as well. I think they kind of met the same fate. But, uh, from what I've, from what I browsed, what I browsed on all this, on all this stuff here, it looks like, uh, the game's going to shit. Yeah, but I'll, I'll just start at the top. Chinese has acquired a majority stake in grinding gear games. I assume this means that uh, Tencent has got at least 51% of the of the company, which I'm also assuming that uh that a Triple G has many other investors in the company, so it it isn't it isn't just Tencent having 51% and Triple G having 49%. I don't think it's that. I think maybe Triple G probably has probably second place with. 33% or something like that, and then a bunch of other investors have the other 26%. So, it isn't just a, it isn't just a two-party system, like, for lack of a better phrase. There's a bunch of other people involved. But, we will remain an independent company. There won't be any big changes to how we operate. Um, I kind of equate this with Triple G now being uh, hooked on heroin. They just bought some heroin from a drug dealer here. I mean, yeah, they're going to remain in the bandit right now, but once they need more cash, they're going to be going back to Tencent, which means they're going to be out uh, turning tricks for them. They're going to be doing doing whatever they can, robbing, cheating, and stealing from other people and whatnot just to get whatever money, get whatever they can to get their money fixed. So if that means... Uh, Doing whatever it is, doing whatever it is that uh, Ten Cent tells them to. Um, to my knowledge, if if um, Ten Cent has acquired a majority of stake in grinding gear games, as far as I know, what little I know about financial stuff like this, they can buy them out. So, so grinding gear games would so end up. What ended up taking the check and walking away, basically. And from what other people in the forums are saying, they might go and pay to win. They're basically going to do whatever Tencent's going to tell them to. Why Tencent? Why not another company? Uh, my guess is it's probably because they have the most money. That the only reason I can think of. It's one of the largest companies. Oh, and I also forgot to mention at the start of this, but I'm I'm totally winging this. I didn't research any of this. I'm just totally improving it. It's one of the largest companies in the world. Also one of the largest games publishers in the world. Respecting the design decisions of developers. And, um, again, I don't, I don't know Tencent. I don't, I don't know what they, what kind of good, good slash bad practices they've had. But again, I equate this kind of thing with heroin, or pretty much any kind of super addictive drug. But heroin first comes to mind. Basically. Tencent could, pro could have Triple G just jumping through flaming hoops for him or whatever, whatever. so 
Dude. But I I probably have to like go on the I'd like I'd have to go on the forums and, and find out in depth what kind of a uh, good or bad business practice Ten Cent has. But again, I don't I don't trust this decision. I mean, there it's it's like uh, Triple G is trying to fix what isn't broken. You know, I mean, it sounded to me like they were publishing games just fine. I mean, I always thought they have they always had the money rolling in. You know, with all the all the supporter packs, uh, all the microtransactions and whatnot. I mean, they've been going at it for, what, seven, eight years now? They gotta be doing something, right? I don't see what point, not sure what kind of point they have in uh, letting Tencent invest in their company. Many potential acquirers over the last five years have always failed to understand the path of exile. Couldn't give you any uh, shiny examples of this, but um, again, I don't, I didn't see, I didn't see what were what, what Triple G's, or, I don't, I don't know what kind of issues Triple G was having. Like I said, this is probably my favorite uh, action role playing game. I mean, I, I like this better than Diablo 2. and although I've only played the game one single time on a PlayStation, Diablo One. I like Path of Exile more than those two games. So I, and they're doing this without investment from Tencent. So I mean, that this is totally, this is totally pointless. There's no need for them to do this. And they're doing, apparently they're doing this. They're doing this uh, apparently without deadly squat for resources. So I think this is a bad call on their part. Grinding gear games becoming part of Tencent. Um, in a word, yes. There, maybe not, not immediately, not right at this moment, but it's. I mean, again, it's just like it's just like heroin. I mean, you might they, you might get your fix at first. You know, it might keep you going for a while, but eventually, you know, they're gonna run out of cash, and they're gonna need another infusion. They're gonna need another infusion. So. They're going back to Tencent again. And Tencent can pretty much sit there and stand there with a flaming hoop telling them to jump through it or dangling the carrot and having Triple G dance around like a dancing puppy. You know, doing whatever. Doing stupid doing stupid people tricks in order to get their money. You know, including, yeah, yeah, go yeah, go pay to win. Or hey, such and such games doing this, why don't you guys do this? You know, or et cetera, et cetera. Independently run company in New Zealand again. I'm again over thinking long term. This is this whole thing's got to turn to shit. But if, thinking long term, I mean, as of right now, they're probably gonna leave them alone. But again, it's just like any other drug dealer. I mean, I mean drug. I mean, drug dealers. As far as I know, they don't they don't push their drugs onto people. I mean, there's the stuff they sell is addictive anyway. You're gonna come back. So same thing here. Tencent basically has time on their side. Last 11 years. Has Path of Exile been going that long? Uh, last I heard, they, um, the game first came out in like 2012, 2013 or something like that. I thought it only lasted in like five or six years, I guess. Apparently not. Um, will they? I don't know, to be honest. Uh, can they? You bet. And again, back to the drug dealer reference. I mean, they're 
you know, they may not, you know, they may not be jerks at first, you know, but over time, you know, when, when Triple G runs out of cash and need more money, you know, they'll, they'll go back to Tencent, you know, because I'm pretty sure uh, Triple G doesn't want to go back to being poor, you know, now that they got all this, got all this money coming in, you know, I mean, that the money's going to run out eventually, you know, and they're probably going to want to go back to Tencent to get more. Again, not at first. We spoke to CEOs of other companies. Tencent has never tried to interfere with game design. Um, given what little I know about uh, the drug dealer community, um. I can see there being a kid pro quo involved. You know, they're all helping each other out. So, I would probably take this with a grain of salt. They're probably just going to say whatever they can to help Tencent get customers. Because again, there's a lot of kid, there's probably kid pro quo going on with all these other uh, investors. Come pay to win. Um, again, maybe not at first, but over time, it might just become that. Because, uh, again, I think this is what I was trying to say earlier. Tencent could probably also just say no, too. Or, sorry, man, we're out of money. What? Oh my god, we're broke. What do we do? then that would be their answer. So, all Tencent would have to do is just simply pull the plug and, and because, uh, you know, you, you know, so used to having all this extra money invested in their company and whatnot, and all the money's gone, but if Tencent decides to hold out on them, well, guess they ain't got no choice. They're gonna have to go pay to win. Okay, this I didn't know about. There's a Chinese version of Path of Exile. I never even knew it existed. I just thought there was one single version of it. But this is probably something that's going to go over my head right here. Currently it has its release a few weeks after the international version. Chinese version of Path of uh, Yeah, like I said, this the Chinese version goes over my head. Well, the Chinese version gets some features ahead of the international one. Again, I don't know. We will all features on the international version sometimes uh, it's starting already it seems it sounds like they're already starting to metal so based on this it don't look so good I mean if they're already requesting features Basically, they're telling Triple G how to do their jobs. So, bad omen right here. Nah, I'm not really going to bother reading the rest of that. And once again, maybe not at first, but over time, might be. thinking about something here. I'm pretty sure this is illegal and lawsuit and uh, there are probably lawsuits involved about excuse me, there would be lawsuits involved about it, but uh 
I know back in the 70s, um, I remember reading about this years ago, but uh, video game companies, what they used to do is uh, they would order up parts from some manufacturer, but then never pay the bill. And uh, as long as they weren't called out on it, or as long as that manufacturer um, didn't refuse them any more parts until they paid their previous bills, they would keep ordering parts. And uh, eventually that manufacturer, because no money's coming in, would have to declare bankruptcy or go out, go out of business. And then that video game company would take that money that they were saving up from, uh, that they were saving, they would use that money to buy out that company, to buy them up, and then they would just forgive their own debt. Um, uh, reading this kind of reminds me of that. Again, Tencent could probably, could just sit here and hold off and get them any more money. Like, sorry man, we're broke. You know, but then all that money that they're not paying them, waiting for Triple G to like declare bankruptcy or go out of business, then use that, then Tencent would use all that money, buy out the company, and boom. Next thing you know, you're going to have to have a Tencent account in order to log in. I guess um, another way of looking at it, the money Tencent is giving them, there are strings attached. But again, maybe not at first, but eventually those uh, those attached strings are going to be attached to Triple G. Tencent's going to be sitting there, the puppet master, you know, making them dance like marionettes, doing whatever they want them to. But like I said, all of this, none of this is going to be immediate. This is just something that's going to happen over time. Um, that's another bad omen right there. I'm a firm believer in quality over quantity. Um, I can't... I can't give any examples right now. I can't remember any, but I'm there's probably quite a bit where people, where companies are putting out content just over and over. I mean, things are just going by so fast, nobody could keep up. You know... RuneScape is one that came to mind. I mean, they were just sitting here putting out updates, quests, areas, areas, monsters, mini games. I mean, it was all just churning out like crazy. I mean, new players got overwhelmed by all the stuff, all the stuff in that game. You know, a lot of confusion, a lot of just basically intimidated by all the content. A lot more Path of Exile isn't necessarily a good thing. Again, it goes back to what I was saying a long time ago. I didn't see what they were doing wrong. I mean, I thought the content, content they have in the game right now is great. You know, it, I don't, I don't, I mean, it's like they're trying to improve on perfection. You know, so, yeah, that's a bad sign right there. We are committed to our current schedule for releases per year, and they should stick with that. This they should not. Just stay the course. Uh, yes. Yes, I like what they've done. But I don't think I'm going to love what they're working on next. Whoops. Which sounds like they're going to be doing a lot more than what they normally do. Again, more content is not necessarily a good thing. So, again, RuneScape is the first game that comes to mind. There's probably others, but I can't think of any at the moment. RuneScape does come to mind. It's an old mid, uh, early to mid-2000s MMO, but they were just putting out, I mean, I mean, quests and just content like crazy, but over time, it wasn't RuneScape anymore. Is there's a certain type of uh? No, I might come back to that later. I there's a word for it, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. But, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just go down the line, and I'll go ahead and comment 
on all these. You know, I'm not in these uh, posts. I'm not calling anybody out. I'm not. I'm not making fun of them or anything like that. I'm not calling you moron or anything like that. But uh, a lot of times, I find it easier to just simply talk it out than it is than to try to type it out. I mean, I already stream this game and I already write blog posts on the game, so that already do enough of that. So. Yes, I knew you're partnered already, but Chinese money is the dirtiest you could possibly take. Probably an ignorant opinion, but yeah, I'd have to agree with that. Not sure if you'd, uh, if you'd consider, uh, now that I think about it, another game called, uh, I think it's called, I think it's an actual full-blown company now called Perfect World. Um, I played a few of their MMOs in they are god awful horrible. They're all pay to win. That's prob. It's it's something that I I brought up a long time ago. You know. I wish I could see I could see Triple G doing this. All Tencent has to do is just sorry man, no more money. You're on your own. And because uh, Triple G is now addicted to heroin or money, excuse me. They're probably not going to pay to win in order to satisfy their addiction. So, if Chinese money is anything like a perfect world money, yep. Ugh. Sounds super sketch. Um, if they stay on the right path yes but I don't see it happening but again I'm thinking long term I mean immediately they're probably gonna get left alone but you know in the future I think it's gonna excuse me ultimately it's gonna go pay to win So I'm guessing, uh, I probably should have known this when I first started this video, but I guess, uh, I'm guessing Tencent is a Chinese investor. And again, if, if Perfect World is anything to go by, then this is bad juju right here. Looks like I'm not touching any more supporter packs. It sounds like I'm going to do the same. Um, I'm assuming supporter packs are there to help out, help the company out. They're there to help Triple G out. But I mean, hell, if they're already getting a huge infusion of cash, don't need my help. So. But a lot of, a lot of divisive opinions here. I guess this guy here has got to sit back and start eating popcorn, waiting for the drama to unfold. Screw Tencent, congrats Triple G. No. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to, definitely gonna have to agree with VP Gearchin on this too. Yeah, I gotta hand it to Triple G on this. At least they're being upfront about it. Again, I. Can't remember any com I can't remember any companies off the top of my head, but there's a lot of them out there that they're not e they're not open about it. They don't. They're, and they sure as hell don't put it on front page news. People have to. The players have to actually investigate this to, in order to find out what's going on. A lot of it's stuff behind the scenes. Worst decision of all time, but again, this is Tim Bro might be thinking like I am. I'm thinking long term, I'm thinking over time, not immediate. I kind of like that signature too, um, if only because of its prevalence. I mean, it was it's all kind of a side note of the subject, but this is one of the reasons why. Uh, I know I'm no longer on Facebook. I no longer play any Facebook games. 
is they were starting to go they were starting to do this um it's also one of the reasons why i'm not on congregate it's a gaming website hardly at all a lot of the games i see on there are going this route as well man are these message boards or is this a freaking chat room it's like a lot of one word answers interesting yikes game over I don't know what Wii game is. That doesn't load well. <clears throat> Again, I'm think if you're thinking long term, if you're thinking long term, yes. Things are gonna go as planned for now, but in the future. I'm guessing Bagger's probably never heard of Perfect World. Fun while it lasted, yes, I agree with that. But it's still going to last a while, though. It's just a matter of time now. Well, farts. <laughs> Should have gone with BGS 10 Black Lotus. No idea who they are. Okay, yep. I guess that's one thing I wish these forums would have. Um, up votes and down votes. But then again, I could kind of see why they wouldn't. Cause uh I know in the uh, I know in the WoW forums, or basically all the Blizzard forums have them. <clears throat> you know, it it, it, ca it causes people to look at a post and despite the fact that the person might have a point, but the the fact that he has down both oh no he's an idiot he has no idea what he's talking about which isn't necessarily the case so yeah now that i think about it good on them for not having it but kind of nailed it but i'm guessing this is just an arbitrary number right here of a 10 cent acquisition of a major game developer having a serious negative impact. Uh, I'd be kind of curious too, but again, if, again, going back to what I said, if 10 cent is a Chinese investor, and if that Chinese investor is anything like a Perfect World Entertainment, that was the full name of it, Perfect World Entertainment, I believe they're a Korean company, then yes, it's, you could probably just look on you can probably just look at all the perfect world games, and there's your answer. Motivated by the large amount of cash, it becomes available. Yeah. It's a very interesting question, Nosh. So I want to raise the question of finances. Yeah, that is a good that is a good post. Why are they going to why is Triple G going to ten cent? I mean I never knew they I never known they had it that bad. Again I'm going back to the uh Going back to the uh, heroin example, I mean, do you, is your life that bad to where you have to go get hooked on heroin in order to comp you know, in order to make yourself feel better? You must have some serious issues. Never knew they had it that bad. <laughs> nice. Rip, but I would also add Rip, although I don't think Triple G knows it yet.
strong reputation for respect in the design decisions of developers and studios they invest while they've been sued for over 25 billion for doing the complete opposite. Ooh. Okay, but like I said, this doesn't surprise me. Drug dealers can have their all. Drug dealers can have their customers turning tricks. I mean, the stuff they sell is highly addictive. <laughs> yep. Something something else, uh, some of the other games I played, this is a big time plague right here. Botters. I mean, RuneScape had it in droves. I mean, RuneScape and um and the perfect world the perfect world games that I played also had that issue as well. Botting was rampant. Yep, yep. does in fact interfere on a certain let me highlight this on a certain level like they're 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 not, I doubt they're gonna just boom, outright bully triple G out their game and we're taking over from here here bye you know I'm having trouble forming words right now but yeah they're they're probably gonna make a little suggestions here and there and since they're the ones providing the heroin I mean money Triple G is gonna, Triple G is gonna do it. Um, the way in which they interfere is to attempt to ensure that each of their invested companies don't interfere. They don't want say invested comp there's there's something in that I'm having trouble putting it together right now so I'll, I'll just move along Considering all the money that Triple G was pulling in before, before Tencent moved in, I I wouldn't consider it outlandish. I mean, Triple G was making a fair amount of money. If the prices were outlandish, nobody'd be buying anything. Servers that don't make you want. Uh, no clue how this works. I'm ignorant of a lot of it, so. Appreciate the transparency. I do too. But I hope you have any kind of exit strategy. I hope they do too. But I think their exit strategy is going to consist of going pay to win. Investing? Day. Yep. None at all due to this. I guess it was a. I guess it was a good thing I bought all my stash tabs. What I did then. Because uh, I'm, after reading this, I'm pretty much at that point too. I'm not buying anything else from them. I mean, they don't really need the money anymore now. Keep your words earnestly. I hope so too, but it's a shot in the dark. Okay, it. Okay, it looks it looks like um it looks like all <laughs> Well, I guess that's the that's an upside to 
working for Bubba Gum Shrimp. Mm -hmm. All the shrimp you can eat. But, but it looks like they're gonna. It looks like they're all just gonna go back and forth. Go back and forth. Good idea, bad idea, good idea, bad idea, and blah 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 blah. blah. So I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Um, I already gave my opinion on all this, so it's about the moment. All right, so I've already done my part. Um, but otherwise, thanks for the time and take care. Or excuse me, thanks for your time and and take care.